Then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? Now the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who has given us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We stand for reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said to the multitudes of the Jews, Amen, amen, I say unto you, that the hour cometh, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so he also hath given to the Son also to have life in himself. And he hath given him power to do judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Wonder not at this, for the hour cometh, wherein all that are in the grave shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that have done good things shall come forth unto the resurrection of life, but they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. So All Souls Day, we remember the dead, we pray for them, all the holy souls in purgatory, uh, the known, the unknown souls, we pray for all of them that they might be redeemed and go to heaven. But the, uh, the Mass and the Gospel are about the last judgment, the last judgment at the end of the world. The first judgment is when we die, we get judged and we're told to go to hell if we're wicked, or to heaven if we're perfect, or to purgatory if we're imperfect, if we're good, good and holy but imperfect. Then we go to purgatory to be purged of whatever remains in us, whatever imperfections in us, whatever punishment we haven't done for the sins we've committed, or whatever guilt we have for venial sins, all these things are punished in purgatory. But at the end of the world then, and there's going to be the sound of the trumpet, and in the twinkling of an eye, the dead are all going to rise. And we believe in the resurrection of the dead, this is an article of our creed, they're all going to rise, and they're all going to come together. But we're not all going to be changed. Those who are wicked will be heavy and ugly. Those who are good will be beautiful and light, and they'll be there with our Lord. And they'll be going to uh, enjoy the resurrection, enjoy the, enjoy the judgment, enjoy uh, the happiness of heaven uh, forever. So it's important uh, for us to say yes. Uh, we, we have to firstly right now, we want, the church wants us to pray for the dead, pray for those souls in purgatory, that, that they might be released to that place of punishment, that they might be taken out of there and uh, brought into heaven, that those souls may rise into heaven. To be with Our Lady and the saints and our Lord and to be able to see God as He is. But we also want to think of our own death. So we have to prepare our death, and the church wants to think of death and our own death. And uh, that's the whole purpose uh, of our life, really, is to die well, to, uh, to know, love, and serve God in this world so we might be happy with Him forever in heaven. And to do that, well, if we know, love, and serve God in this world, we will die well and we will be good, and we will die a holy death. But if we uh, serve the world, or we serve the flesh, or we serve the devil, well then we will die a horrible death, and we will have a horrible eternity. So we have to think about death, and think about hell. We know that a great many souls do go down into hell. The vast majority of souls uh, go to hell. It's what the fathers of the church teach us. Many, many go there. But our, the Lord showed hell to the little children at Fatima. Uh, they saw the souls falling into hell like a snow, snow, snowflakes in a snowstorm. Just uh, falling in there, uh, very, very many, a multitude just falling into hell uh, uh, every, every minute. Uh, so that's a, a, a horrible thing. It was a horrible sight. And it did uh, make the children afraid. And then want to do penance to save sinners from going to such a horrible place because they saw how horrible hell was. And so we need to do penance for sinners, but right now we want to do penance for the ones that aren't sinners, for the good ones, the ones that are in purgatory, uh, the ones that want to go to heaven. So that the, the penance that they did not do on earth. So what, what is lacking in their penance, what is lacking in their, their prayers, what, what they lacked on earth to. Uh, uh, they manage to uh, go to heaven, well, we, we can help them. 
they are being purified by fire. It's very horrible, very painful, uh, very hot in purgatory, where they're purified like gold. They have to become like perfect gold. All the imperfections are taken out of gold before you can make something uh, of pure gold out of it. I mean, all the imperfections have to be taken out of the soul uh, before it can go into heaven, because the soul itself does not want to go to heaven with imperfections. It doesn't want to go there. It doesn't want to go there. It says, it says I'm worthy uh, to go before the living God, to stand before God with all these scars on my soul, with all these uh, wounds on my soul for my sins that haven't healed, and haven't been healed because I never did sufficient penance for them. I never made enough prayers for them. I never made up for them uh, during my time on earth. And so it is being purified by fire. But our prayers and our penances can make up for what those souls did not do on earth. This is why we should do prayers and penances for them, especially during November. Our Holy Mother Church wants us to especially remember these souls during November. So we, we want to do prayers and penances for them and obtain for them uh, their purification. Uh, and so because if we do penance for them, well then God counts it for them. And he takes away some of their punishment and he purifies them for the penance we do for them. So we want to do that for them, that they may purify and that they may then go to heaven. When they go to heaven, uh, they will be very grateful to all the help, all those who help them uh, be released from prison. They will obtain many blessings from God for those people who did help them. And they will obtain for us maybe the grace to stop sinning, to stop sinning, to give up our sins so we no longer offend God. And we say, no, I'm not going to offend God anymore. I want to be determined to live like the saints did, always trying to please Him, always trying to accept the daily crosses and uh, carry them uh, patiently before Him. Because holy souls can obtain for us these graces if we want them, if we truly want them, if we want to give up our sins and we want to say, no, I want to sin no more. So let's try to remember them and pray for them and try to get them out of that fearful place. There's a museum in Rome called the Purgatorium Museum. There's all these relics of purgatory where people have come back from purgatory, told people about what was put there. Many of the saints have had visits from souls in purgatory. Sometimes they put their hand on a, on a, on a board and there's a handprint burnt into the board because their hand was so hot so hot the fire that's worked on the board. Or even in a book, there's a book that's got the fingerprints. Somebody picked up a book, he came back from purgatory and picked up a book, and his fingerprints were burnt into the book because his hand was so hot from, from the, the fires uh, in purgatory. That they suffer so much in those fires that these souls do. And there's many other relics like that of the souls in purgatory. And so they do suffer, it's a true place, and it's a place of purification. But they are very happy in purgatory. They're very happy, firstly, because they know they saved their soul. They know they're going to heaven. They're certain to go to heaven. And they're, they're happy because now their wills are good. They no longer want any sin. They turned away from all sin, all wickedness, and they're focused on serving God and pleasing God. And so they accept that their punishment as being just. They say, this is just that God does this to me. This is just that God allows this because I, I committed these sins while I was on earth. So they accept their punishment, they accept their lot, and uh, they're willing uh, to suffer because they don't want to go to heaven themselves until they are purified of all these uh, corruption in their souls. So we pray for them, we ask them to pray for us, and we ask them to obtain for us the grace to die a holy death, that we might die by well, and that we might die in the state of grace, and die God, that the resurrection we will rise glorious with all these souls in purgatory and with all uh, the saints. So let's ask our Blessed Lady to intercede for them. And our Blessed Lady does go every Saturday. Every Saturday she goes to purgatory and brings souls into heaven, especially those who wore her scapular. And uh, uh, that she does bring them into heaven on Saturdays. So we want to remember to pray for the holy souls even on Saturdays.